Hi again, this is Dr. Benitez at the US Open. I wanted to show you a few ultrasound images of the knee. Ultrasound is very useful to look for tendon injuries in the extensor mechanism of the knee, the quadriceps tendon, the patellar tendon. It's very useful to look for knee joint effusions. And sometimes we can see meniscal tears. The meniscus is a deeper structure in the knee, but many times we can tell if there is a tear or injury of the meniscus. I'll show you a few images next. Right here we have a longitudinal ultrasound image on the medial aspect of the knee. We see that on the left side of the screen we have the medial femoral condyle shown by this uh, bright line here and on the right side of the screen we have the tibia. In between we have a triangular region of high echoes which is the cross-section of the medial meniscus and above the medial meniscus we have these very organized parallel echogenic lines which constitute the medial collateral ligament so this is healthy medial meniscus and healthy medial collateral ligament on the other hand in this knee on the lateral side of the knee in the region of the joint space we have a very irregular meniscus it doesn't look triangular anymore irregular shape with multiple uh, heterogeneous echoes and this constitutes a torn lateral meniscus that has partially extruded from the joint space here's lateral femur and lateral tibia another interesting feature of ultrasound is color and power doppler Power Doppler is commonly used to evaluate for areas of soft tissue inflammation or hyperemia. In this example here, we have a, the, a long view of the suprapatellar recess in the knee. Uh, this is the asymptomatic knee. Here's the anterior femur. This is the patella. On top we have the quadriceps tendon. And in between, we have the suprapatellar recess with a little bit of fluid. The symptomatic knee on the other side, instead, does show a small amount of fluid, but it shows a lot of red echoes or uh, red color for, for uh, hyperemia and inflammation. So this knee here has synovitis around the joint effusion, and it turns out that it, it was the symptomatic knee.